What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do the, the question reorganize strings. So I actually tried to make this video once already and it didn't work out because like I kept stuttering and tried to, couldn't really understand what I was doing. But now I actually don't understand what I'm doing and I actually couldn't figure out this question for the past two days and I was stuck on it and I had to look at the solution. But now I know what what how to do this question, okay? So this question basically asks, given a string, check if the letters can be arranged so that two characters that are adjacent to each other are not the same. So in the case of the in example one, A, A, B, A and A are the same characters in their adjacent to each other, they're next to each other. You want to reorganize it so that these characters that are the same are not adjacent to each other. So in this case, the output would become A, B, A because they swapped B to, and they put B in between the two adjacent letters A, B, A. In a second example, it's not possible. That's why they return in, uh, they return a empty string. The reason why is because in this case, a a a b. If if you take b and you put it between the first two a's, uh, the last two a's are going to be adjacent to each other, and they're the same, so that wouldn't work. If I take b and put it to the last two a's, the first two a's are going to be adjacent to each other, and that wouldn't work either. Okay. So how do you do this question? Well, the way to do this question is actually to use a heap. And so if you were to count the occurrences of every single letter inside your string, then after you count the occurrences and you sort, uh, you pair every uh, occurrences with each character, and then you put it in a heap, based on that heap, if you take the two topmost values of that heap and you you were to write uh, add those two top new values into your new string you would basically have no adjacent characters that are the same next to each other because in the end they're not going to be the same you're taking the two topmost values and then you're going to add them to your string if you keep doing that they're not going to you're not going to have adjacent uh, characters that are the same because you're just doing like a b a b stuff like that yeah so how do you do this? Well, first thing you got to know is that we have a string s, so we're gonna create a. We're gonna uh, not a. We're gonna create a length n for s dot size, just in case if we need it, because we need it. Basically, we need it. We are going to basically <clears throat> keep track of every letter that occurred in the alphabet in our string. So we're going to do this called count and it's going to have 26 because there's 26 letters in our alphabet. And because of that we're going to have initialize all the values to 0 in the beginning. Now what are we going to do? We're going to go through every character x uh maybe ch in our string and we are going to add the care and the number of occurrences for each character. Okay, so the issue with this is that the character A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, up to Z is a character that has an ASCII value. We want to change that ASCII value to start to zero because that's how, how our count index is indexed from. So we have to do minus A. And that's going to add the number of occurrences for each letter in our alphabet in our count. Okay, so after you do that, we need to create a priority queue. And this is going to be our heap. Priority Q. And it's going to be a pair of int and character. Because we're pairing the number of occurrences with its character. And we're going to call this a vector. And that vector is going to be a pair. Okay. We're going to call this PQ, priority Q. Uh, maybe I should call it pri priority priority Q priority Q <laughs> yeah I will do that I'll call it priority Q big Q okay um, I'm not gonna write the comparator yet I'll write it later because that's gonna be hard to grasp your head around for the comparator but I'll write it later okay so what are we gonna do um, we're gonna go through every every value in our array of count, which is 26, uh, 26 letters in the alphabet, 
that we had a count and we're going to check if count is greater than zero okay so if it's greater than zero we are, we're going to check if you can actually pair the two uh, values that are not the same so if you look at our string here string s is equal to a b if you were to pair these two values up together together right you're going to have a b a right the ones are not repeating with the ones that are repeating the size of this is n let's say the size is n n over 2 would be the number of groups that you're pairing with each other right so therefore the upper bound is going to be n plus 1 over 2 and if your number of occurrences is greater than n plus 1 over 2 that means it's not possible because you cannot have pairs like that you cannot pair each uh same character with is adjacent so we're going to have to do that here so we're going to do if our count at i is greater than n plus 1 over 2 we're going to return empty string okay so after that uh so after this if statement we know that it's not uh the count at i is not is greater than n plus 1 over 2 so what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the values to our priority queue so we're going to do priority queue dot push and then we're going to add a pair we're going to add the specific count which is the the number of occurrences that came and then the actual character so to do that i have to convert the specific character into an actual character so to do that i'll do i plus a and that will convert the specific index into an actual character so that would, that's going to do that part okay now we're going to do another part. So we're going to check while our priority queue's size is greater than or equal to 2. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to take the two topmost values and then we're going to add it to our string that we're returning. So we're going to do string to return equals empty. So we're going to take the top two values in our priority queue. So we're going to do priority queue dot top. And this is going to be pair int char. Uh, let's see, pair one. I'll call it pair one. Top. And I'm going to remove it to get the second one because I only have the access to the first element. So pair. I removed the popped it. Now I'm going to get the second one. Pair two. And then I'm going to remove it also. Okay. So once we get the top values, we're going to actually specifically add the specific character into the string that we're returning. So we're going to do to return plus equal to pair one dot second. Then we're going to do to return plus equal to pair two dot second. And that will actually add up the specific character. Um, we, know, we do dot second because for pairs, dot first is the first value second was a second value so dot second is our actual character so that's where we do that okay now after we add the character to our string to return we need to check if we have to keep adding the specific value so we need to check if we have to add the value again into our priority queue so to do that we have to check if the number of occurrences subtracted one if it's if it's still greater than zero we are going to push the pair back into our priority queue in order to make sure that we add the values again and when you push that into your priority queue it'll make sure that you have to add, add it again this would make sure that the number of occurrences you keep adding the characters so that the number of occurrences would uh make sense so in this case of a b a has a number of occurrences two B has a number of occurrences one. Uh, if I were to subtract one from number of occurrences, so A's number of occurrences is two, subtract one is going to be one, so A is going to have one. I'm going to push A again into the priority queue to make sure that I add A again to my two return string. So I'm going to do that in this part. So I'm going to do if pair one dot first minus minus, so I'm going to do a pre subtraction. So this would subtract one from the value and set it equal to the actual pair is greater than zero. I'm going to do uh, priority q dot push. 
pair one. And I have to do the same thing for the second value. So I have to do second pair. So pair two dot first is greater than zero. Priority Q dot push pair two. Okay, so once you add those, um, that's basically that part. We also have to check, there's also another case where if you have like odd number of characters, you're gonna have one less in the priority queue. You're gonna have like a one remaining one, so we have to do that edge case also. So if priority queue dot size is still greater than zero, that means there's one left. We're going to add it to our to return. Uh, dot second. Oh, dot top, and then the character that specific character. Dot second. Add the specific character to our uh, to our string that we're returning from our priority queue, and then we're going to remove the last priority queue. Okay, so that's going to that be that part. And yeah, that's that's pretty much this. That's pretty much it. Uh, then after that, we have to return our to return which is our string that we're returning. So I'm gonna remove return to return, and that returns the string. Okay, so now it's the part of actually adding the comparator for our priority queue to know which actually goes first and which actually goes second. And whether the minimum goes first, the maximum goes first, yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna call this one comparator. I'm gonna pass a comparator here, and then I have to make sure it's a comparator also here um, there's a thing we got to do deck CL type if you're gonna use a lambda expression and I'm gonna actually use a lambda because uh, I don't want to create a struct just to, to pass in a comparator so that's that part I'm gonna do auto comparator is gonna to equal to this function and I think you have to have a semicolon if I recall yeah okay the functions are gonna take in a pair of int char and we're gonna call this left and then pair int char right so we have to think about this we're gonna return if the number of occurrences are the same uh, so if left dot if the number of occurrences are the same so let's say I have a is equal to 2 and B is equal to 2 we want the lower value of the alphabetic order of the characters that appear first. So if first is equal to right dot first, we want the lower value of the character. You, we want the lower value of the alpha, you, we want it to be sorted in uh, alphabetical order from the lower value first. So we want the minimum lower value. So we want A to go first. So yeah, to write a comparator, it's actually better if you write it from the right side and then the left to make sure that you're actually doing this correctly. Cause it's hard to under, cause comparators are weird in that what you think that is like a min heap is actually different from max heap, stuff like that. So I, I like to do it from the right side first. So if right dot uh, second is greater than, oh, is less. Because we want the we want it to be in alphabetical order from lowest to highest for the letters. Yeah. So we're gonna sort the letters in alphabetical order from lowest to highest. Uh, right dot second is less than then left dot second. Okay. Otherwise we want the higher count to go first, right? So whatever is the higher count, we're gonna go make that go first. So we're that I'm gonna do right dot uh, the higher count is gonna be first right dot first is greater than left dot first. So that means that if I have a, a number of occurrences two and B is number of occurrences one, it's gonna put a two first and then B one the next value. And then, then it'll does that, do that thing. Let's submit, I hope this is right. Compile error, something, something happened. Uh, compile error, invalid. Pair char was invalid. Pair int char. Which one? Which is invalid? 
That's the L type comparator. That's right. Let's see. Let's see if my comparator. Did I write it correctly? Compare. Okay. I'm going to do. Uh, uh, what is the problem here? I'm going to call it compare. Maybe it's something has to do with the uh, naming. It could be it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's. Oh, wait, no, it's the. I think it's. No, wait, that's not it. Still a compile error. What is the problem? Argument 2 is invalid. Uh, Dex CL type. Deck. I'm pretty sure it's that's right. Dex CL type compare. That's right. Uh, priority queue compare. That's right. I don't know what's the problem. Maybe am I writing a fair wrong? Auto compare. Left bracket, right bracket. Uh, auto compare is equal to left bracket, right bracket pair. Left right pair. Left right. Okay. Left dot first is equal to right. Yeah. yeah. Should be right. What is the syntax error? Priority Q pair int char priority Q uh, vector pair int. Oh, oh, I had an extra brace. That's why. Or uh, extra bracket. Less than time. Um, okay, still another thing. Priority Q is not declared in the scope. What do you mean? Where? Oh. Yeah, I named it, I spelled it wrong. Uh, I need to do this one also. Uh, and it got accepted. Yeah, so that's how you do this problem. Uh, the tricky part is the comparator. You should write it based on the right, right first and then left. The reason for that is that'll actually help you keep track of which one's alphabetical order, uh, and which one isn't. So, like, if left, if right is less than left, that means that it's a min. Uh, the smallest value is gonna go first. If right is greater than left, that means the the uh, larger value is gonna go first. But yeah. So yeah, that's how you do this question. I got 100% speed. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.